Hi everyone, this is Madison. Welcome to another tip presented by JSCM Group. This month, I want to show you an easy and effective way to appropriately manage and maintain your web blocker. As you can see, I have policies built out for different groups of users. I have general users and managers. I want to create an environment in which these two types of users have different levels of access. In order to apply web blocker, I'm going to go to Setup, Actions, Web Blocker. I will click Add, and I will create a web blocker action that I can associate with each of those groups. I will make sure to determine what categories I want to deny and click OK. I will do the same for my other group of users. In doing this, I could determine what level of access I want these two users to have. For example, perhaps I want my general users to be denied from Facebook, but I want my managers to be able to access it. Here is where I would determine that level of access. Once I have my web blocker configured, then I will go into my HTTP general users policy. I'm going to open up the proxy action and apply web blocker to that group. I will do the same for HTTP managers. I also need to do the same for HTTPS policies. It should be noted that you do not need a separate web blocker action for HTTPS. I will go into my proxy action and select the same web blocker that I just set up and apply to HTTP. Then I would make sure to save my policy. What this means is that in the future, if I need to edit the web blocker action, all I need to do is go to Setup, Actions, Web Blocker, and I can manage them from here. This tip has been presented by JSCM Group. Check us out online at www.jscmgroup.com.